What's up, Fit Fam? Andrew Clark here with uh, another Therapy Thursday. It must be uh, getting pretty close to the weekend, as you can see uh, by demeanor here. Um, so, what we're working on today is a hip stability series part one. Now, the reason why this is so important is, uh, let's say you're into the gym and um, you're really having trouble with either squat technique or you're finding that uh, you're getting some sore knees with some of the, the squat activities or lunges and um, possibly some of the jumping or running as well. Um, so this hip stability series is really going to focus on strengthening up a, the part of your glutes called your glute medius that's really in control of stabilizing those hips as they kind of as you lift one leg or as you're landing and it's very important because uh, it controls your knee going inwards which is going to control the amount of stress that's translated through the knees when you're doing uh, certain exercises. So this is a, a series it's uh, going to be about four or five exercises. Now what you can do for this, I'm going to show you the first one. If you uh, if you're doing this at home, try and uh, go against the wall that way it's going to keep your hips stable. Uh, a lot of time when people do this they actually roll their hips back and you're not going to get uh, that same effect and you're going to be doing it improperly and you're not going to be uh, strengthening it or educating it the way that it should. Okay so the first series, the first exercise here, this is called a clam. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring the knees up to about 45 degrees. You want your your feet in line with your spine and now what you want to kind of do is you want to tighten up right and through here just on the uh, outside of your hip and all you're going to do is you're just rotating that knee up and just make sure when you're doing that you're not rotating the whole body you're not rotating that spine or pelvis okay so you're just rotating through that hip get a good squeeze one thousand and then bring it back down and so I'll do that for a series of 10 reps okay then from there what you're going to do is you're going to straighten that leg and try and keep your your toe pointed down or neutral okay from here what you're going to do you're just gonna do a straight leg lift same thing squeezing it through here about 15 degrees off the floor okay and again for another 10 reps from this position now you're going to go into a bicycle kick and you want to come all the way back this is where it becomes a little bit difficult if you are using the wall there so just take a uh, about a foot away from the wall if you are going to try and kick back with this one. Same thing, another 10 reps. Okay, from there, keeping the leg straight again, we're going to go circles backwards, squeezing in through that hip. By now, this outside hip should feel like it's on fire, that glute medius. 10 reps from there, and then from there, you're going to go circles forward for another 10 reps. And then, if you're feeling really dangerous, you can finish off with some wide abductions. And by then, you should be really on fire. So, let's say you're doing this for a week or two. It's getting a lot easier, so the way that you can make this um, much more difficult, you can either A, increase the reps, or B, you can ask me nicely and I can cut you some tubing, and then what you would do, you would just put the tubing in between the knees, or if you're doing the straight leg stuff, uh, you would use this your uh, bottom foot as an anchor and actually anchor up the bandage around the ankles and then you can try it from there. Okay? That's another Therapy Thursday. That's uh, Hip Stability Series Part 1. Tune in next week for Hip Stability Series Part 2. Catch you later, Fit Fam.